know. You're welcome. Hello, everyone, and thank you, Maya, for that incredible introduction. You know, I never thought I'd be here on this stage being introduced by Maya Ashmira. I first met her, well, met is a strong term. It's probably more accurate to say fangirled from a distance at the 2015 Intel International Science and Engineering Fair. And if you had told that girl in the audience like all of you today, if you had told that girl she'd be standing here in front of all of you, I wouldn't have believed you because I'm not that girl anymore. I have. Everyone here has changed so much. But during my freshman year, I read a story called Eleven about an 11-year-old girl named Rachel. And as she turned 11, she reflected on the fact that all of her previous ages surrounded her like layers, not hanging down on her, but making her who she was. I, I am a girl made up of the layers before me. And I formed one of my most fundamental layers about five years ago when all of this started. I was on a plane myself and I looked out the window and I saw giant white streaks moving over the wings and I was terrified. I thought for sure we were gonna die. Uh, turns out it was just condensation. I realized I had no idea how airplanes flew and I was so interested in it. Science, science can come from anywhere. It can come from anything or from anyone. And it's that inspiration that makes us who we are. I, I'm a sibling who used to build cardboard creations with my sister. I'm a passenger on a plane I once thought would crash, but ended up being perfectly normal. I'm a high schooler with a passion for engineering. I'm a Regeneron STS scholar. And I'm a Regeneron STS finalist. We all gained many layers this week, created and polished by all of our shared experiences together. Like when you first hear the interview start and you have no idea what the answer is. When you, in your escape room, has just seconds left and you cannot be presumably the only team that doesn't make it. Sorry, team four. When we, were present, when we presented for middle school students and the wonder and fascination in their eyes shone like the sun and melted away any stress we might be feeling and made hours and hours of research worth it. When we stood before congressmen and women, and we were seen as experts in our field, not as high school students, not as future innovators, but as innovators of today, because we are. And when we were welcomed into the NIH, not only the National Institutes of Health, but the National Institutes of Hope. And I am gaining another layer now, when I look out and see all the organizations and sponsors and hardworking people who made all of this possible. And I cannot express in words the gratitude each of us have for Regeneron and for the Society for Science and the Public. You made 40 young scientists' dreams come true. You made a little girl's dream come true because you made my dream come true. And I see the people who have been with me, with all of us, through it all. The judges, the society staff, the incredible teachers who inspire us daily. And well, my parents, all of our parents. Now, I promised myself I wouldn't cry, but I know my mom is already shedding a tear somewhere. Because she, if anyone, sees me as that girl, 
that girl of later. She knows who I am now and where I came from. And I can't wait to share with her and with all of you who I'll, who will all be in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. One more round of applause for her, please. Wasn't that wonderful?